want to do, I want to do a little mastermind with you. I want to talk about, you know, what, what's been going on. I want to talk about what you've been doing. I want to talk about what we did. Yeah. You know, we hung out for the year. We trained for the year. We trained for the year. It's been a little while since we connected. It's good to reconnect again. What's happening with you? Like what's coming up for you, bro? Uh, for me, I'm just kind of in the middle of my uh, football season right now. For I play uh, on junior tie cats, but uh, I made uh, Team Ontario for football, and I have a um, I have a big tournament this weekend. That's in uh, BC in Kelowna. So uh, we're against all the other provinces, and then that's gonna be like broadcasted on like you know a lot of Canadian channels. So uh, yeah, it's good big exposure for like schools and stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. So like hard work's kind of paying off now, you know. But what uh, what's really underrated as like for an athlete's perspective is definitely like mental. Like, you can train like physically all you want, you know, get the big arms, you know get the fast twitch muscle, but like, if you don't train your like mental, then, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be at the top. And that's one thing I'm starting to learn now. So, you know what I mean? It's, you don't, you don't get good at it overnight. You know, you just gotta constantly keep practicing and practicing. You know what I mean? How old are you brother? 16. 16. And you're going to, and you're going to the junior Canadian, uh, football championships you're representing the the Ontario team like the, the junior tie cats I guess they're going to yeah. Cologne you're going to BC uh you're the quarterback of the team yeah and we just finished off a year of training we've been training hard for the year and and, and now you're you're up here getting up on the up on the Canadian football championship here and you're saying you know what you can train all you want it's about the mindset is that, what yeah. you said? is that what you're saying, bro? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so underrated. Like, a lot of people my age don't really take it into consideration until they get older and they start facing competition as good as, like, themselves. So, like, once you're kind of in that, you know, like, 50-50, you know, it kind of goes down to who's more mentally stronger and prepared than the other, and it's a huge factor. It's a big difference between, you know, whether you make the next level or not. Everybody's doing the physical. Yeah. Everyone's squatting. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody yeah. doing the push. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. But 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 who's doing the mental game? Yeah. It's this is what's gonna it. separate you and make you better than everyone else. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got to put it together. We need physical training. Yes. We need training of all the skills. We need to work on all the skills. We need to work on the strength. We need to work on the speed. We need to work on these things. But you recognize now that all of these things hinge and come from the mind. Yep. That's where it all starts. And if the mind ain't right. You're not going to play. You're not going to be at your best. You're not going to be at your best, man. No. No, no. You got to keep yourself in that in that mental space and that energetic mental space, right? Yeah. So now you're seeing, you're really seeing that maybe the benefit of that. We worked for a year. We were talking about these things every day. We're getting yeah. ourselves and and you know each week we're checking in and making and making ourselves accountable to those things to having dialogue about those things like. When you talk about those things, it kind of gets you in that sort of frame of mind, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like manifest in the moments, you know, just keep thinking about it. Then eventually, you know what I mean? Your chance will come. You just have to make the best out of it. That's what I'm kind of, that's what I was kind of thinking, you know, like throughout last year, I was kind of think, thinking of this moment today and how like, you know, like thinking and doing and just being consistent. And that plays a big role in all this. So, you know what? I, I'm really feeling like, you know, uh, and my son, I'm training my son right now. Like he's, oh, yeah. where he's at it big time right now with me. And there's a couple other young guys that I'm, that I'm meeting tonight, actually. And I'm feeling like there's a thing like there need, we needs to have, we need to have a young guys kind of athletic 
kind of like a training program, like some sort of a uh, like like some sort of like um <laughs> like junior athletics. Junior like athletics, that. man. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Put the kids kind of, you know, above everyone else at their age. Because not too many kids are, you know what I mean, putting in the commitment as other people. So as other kids their own age. So, I mean, that'd be good. That'd be a good idea. You know, get together for basketball, track, football, soccer, uh, football yeah. skills, strength training, mindset, just getting uh, accountability, just showing up each week, something like yeah. this, where you're kind of coming together and we're, we're, we're working out, we're sprinting, we're meeting at the track, we're playing football, we're playing basketball, we're playing soccer, like all sorts of drills and skills, like all the strength training skills and drills, all of the things that make us into better athletes. We work on these things. You got a camp, you know, you got one day you're working on basketball, you're working on track one day, you're working on football one day, you're working on, you're in the gym one day, you're putting it all together. So you learn how to put it into a lifestyle, a lifestyle of training. Yeah. An athlete, a pro athlete is really getting into the lifestyle skills and just kind of doing them over and over again. Like this is the lifestyle. You got to get into it. Like the mindset, this is what you do every day. Yeah. That's you just got to be consistent with it. And then eventually, you know what I mean? The hard work will pay off, but you know, it's a patience game. It's patience, patience. You have to be patient with it. It's not going to come overnight keep on practicing those skills you work on these skills so we work on the skills you get together we work on the skills every week yep. you get together we work on the skills every week we work on the mindset every week and as we work on those skills and we get together and make ourselves accountable to each other and we talk and think and speak about where we want to go and we practice these things it, it evolves into it becomes the athlete that i need to be i become the man that i need to be from thinking and speaking and talking and doing the work each week by showing up each week yeah. and thinking and saying and doing these things. This is how I become that man that I need to be that strong, lean, fit, healthy athlete that I need to be. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's dedication and consistency. Those are the two biggest roles in balance. Like not too many people really mention about balance to, you know, you go, you go crazy, you know, 24 seven, then your body is just going to go through a reset. And you know what I mean? You're kind of like a mess with your head. If you're, you're injured or something and you can't, you know, keep doing what you usually do. So you got to keep it balanced with it. So, you know what I mean? Like seeing your family or doing schoolwork, reading a book, something that's, you know, not super physically, like it's a physical toll. What? So, you're talking about the other side now. Oh yeah, like there's so many, like there's so many things that just make up like one, in my opinion. But uh, no, I, you definitely need a balance though. Like you need to learn how to like maintain your energy with training, put your energy into training, and then you know use your off time to like recover, read a book, or like you know do something that will you know, change you mentally or spiritually. That's what I'm looking at it as. You're, you're talking about the balance. You're talking about bringing in that other side. Like if, if you only train, you end up breaking down after a while, right? Yeah. 100%. When you get too one-sided, like you want to go more, more, more. I know we always want to go more. We want to get yeah. it faster, right? But, you know, yeah. when you go this way, more, 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 got to get it faster. Eventually you just break down. Oh yeah. Something right. breaks off. Yeah. Right. It just happens. Yeah, yeah. And then, then you gotta go backwards, take a yeah. break. Like yeah, exactly. And then it kills you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rather rather to just kind of pace myself and just work at it every single week, and then I don't have to take that setback. If I allow myself to recover every week, if I do my ice bath yeah you no know, uh, if, if i get my ice if i get my recuperation if i get my rest if i take a break i i always i also want to say i encourage even the fast even for these aggressive most aggressive athletes even one day a week where you're just going a little lighter you're going on the lighter foods 
it's not all about repping and just all about getting. It's really you know, taking a little break. If you take one day of the week where it's not about those things, it's about stretching. It's about yeah. resting. It's about reading. It's about icing. It's about sub cold submersion. It's about meditation. It's about listening to something positive. It's about being with your family, being with your mom and your dad, being with your brother or your sister. It's about having a conversation about something else because you know, as we get up, you know, we're not only going to, we're, we're young men, we're young athletes, but we're not only young men and young athletes. And eventually we're going to have to be husbands and wives and fathers and brothers and friends and employees and, and men that fit into other parts of life as well, too. So we kind of got to get ourselves ready for life. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's kind of the reality of it. So it's the reality, right? Yeah, that's just how it goes. You know, you practice, like you use these, your energy into, you know, your sport or something, but, you know, it's kind of good that you can discipline yourself and it kind of prepares you for the future. Like, again, being a job or being an employer or, you know, being a, like a father, brother, you know, like it helps in all aspects around life. Yeah, you want to make sure that the things that you're doing are making you a better person, a better human being, not just only a better athlete. Yeah, it's got yeah. to make you a better athlete. This is our number one goal when we're young men. But it's also got to make me a better person, right? It's got to make me a whole balanced individual. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, that's how it's got to be. Yeah, not too people realize that, though, until like a while until it kind of hits it takes a while until it hits bro no yeah. matter what like no matter how many times you can say it or hear it until you kind of live it you kind of go okay i get it i see what you mean. yeah i used to i know when i was 13 <laughs> i started working out and i tell you i used to work out every single day yeah until uh, until i was about 17 until i figured this out that it's not actually better when i work out every day it's actually better when I worked, when I started to take some days off, mm -hmm. by the time I was, you know, getting ready for the Mr. Universe, you know, I was down to working out four times a week. I recognized that if I worked out four times in seven days, that that actually made me my very best game. It wasn't yeah. more. It was actually an optimal amount that I could actually go and be my very most productive. But then I had that time to rest and recuperate and work on the other aspects of me. And that sort of kept me in balance. Oh, yeah. But if I tried to go more to the gym, I would break down. I would, I would tip over. Something would go wrong. I would get sick. Yeah. This is what I found. There's a tipping point that there was like a, all a natural balance point. I always talk about that. Like I found it from bodybuilding i found it from sport like the natural balance point from my food and my sleep and my exercise and my training and then i just use that natural balance point in the rest of my life yeah you can find something here that you can use for the rest of your whole life if you can learn it here with your sport oh yeah exactly right that's that's always it takes a while to find but you know once you find it and you find the right balance the consistency then you know what i mean you just now the ball is in your court then you show up on game day like lebron every time right like it's the difference yeah. between steph curry who's always 30 points and yeah. you know the guy that's you know showing up one day he hits 20 and the next day he hits two right like yeah. this is the thing like it's about showing up consistently in the right place and that requires balance so that i'm always in a balanced place yeah right if i'm not in a balanced place then i i peak and then i valley and then i peak and then i valley and i and and that's that inconsistency isn't what makes it a champion is it no oh well, that is not that's not championship made right there. No, it's not about attainment. It's about sustainment. Yeah, it's a good quote right there. It's not what I can attain. It's what I can sustain. So as a balanced athlete, 
I have to work myself as hard as I can, but not more than that. Yeah. Exactly. You're just, if you're going to go all over the place and you're going to forget like your true, your true self, you're just going to kind of lose yourself. Yeah, we get caught up and especially it's tough when we're young because, you know, there's, there's young other people, young people around and maybe they're not in any balance of any kind. And sometimes if they're around and they're kind of leading something, it, it can get you out of balance. Yeah. You can get out of balance by what's around you, by your girlfriend or by your your buddy or whatever's happening around you. The peers around you can affect your energy and balance. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. So you have to be careful, you know, yeah, with those things. Yeah. Because your energy, you only have so much energy you can. Play yeah, out. man. And you got to balance it. Your sleep life. Yeah. You know, how much can you really do and what's right? and How much can I not do? I got to put a balance and boundary. But then, you know, I'm a young guy too. I also have to go out and have some fun. And I got to work that in there. But then, you know, I also got to recognize I got to have some discipline and, and, and shut it down. It's one day a week or that's what it is, you know? Yeah. It's Sounds one day good. a week I can go out late. The next day I can spend the afternoon with my friend. But I got to take a sleep in the morning. Like, I got to balance my life nutritionally. Yeah exercise yeah. mindset healing cooling yeah. cooling the body not yeah. only heating the body but cooling the body and resting the body yeah yeah bro Highly underrated. About. people need help with this young people need help with this and I, I i see that i recognize that and i think you're starting to see that and i think if we do that together, you can reach out to some of your buddies and stuff and we can get together. Maybe we can make something out of it that, that, that we're doing something, a workshop or an event or something like that. If we thought about it for next year, maybe we did it next summer. I don't know if it's something we could do this summer, but maybe we could do it next summer. You know what I mean? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. That would be great. But this is um, how it happens is it happens by us thinking about it and talking about it. Yeah. And then making plans on it. This is how we happen. We, we, we brainstorm, we mastermind, we talk about it, we picture it, and then that's how we make it happen. Bro. Yeah. Well, that'd be great. You find some committed people, you know, who think, think the same and who, you know, you know what they want. And you put a lot of people like that in like a group together, then, you know, a lot of people are going to get better and, you know, be competitive and want to be the best. That's always good. Yeah, Don't when you put positive people. mind together, what happens? Positive mind sharpens one another. That's how it goes. Iron sharpens iron. Yeah, exactly. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's how it happens. That's how we bring it together, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's kind of hard to find those people, but, you know, when you do find them, then... You know what I mean? It's kind of like a jackpot sometimes. Yeah, man, it's a jackpot. That's gold, bro. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Oh, no, that's currency. That's human currency. Yeah. That's energetic oh. currency. Yeah. That's infinite power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. You know, someone that keeps on going takes a kick in and keeps on licking yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> licking keeps on ticking that's yeah. how it goes right yeah this is it you got to have a guy that can get up again yeah knows how to get up again every yeah. day, every day knows how to get up again this is it. keeps on going yeah keeps on going right yeah man how's the uh... How's the business been going lately? Starting starting to, to rise again, starting to a little bit, seeing yeah. more people coming out again, which is fantastic. A little bit more people coming to the studio, people wanting to reach out online for a health coach, people wanting to talk about health, talk about nutrition, talk about mindset, talk about pulling it all together. I created a seven-day health <laughs> plan to help people pull it all together. Yeah. Right. And I'm, and I'm, you know, working out with my son all the time. I'm thinking about like a junior coat, a junior fitness, junior health program, because I, you know, I'm getting it going with my son. Now I want to 
work with the young guys because my son's in it. So like, I'd like to, over the next six, 10 years, I'd like him to be doing that anyway. So why wouldn't I want to be running something like that around exactly. or having that around or doing that myself? Like it inspires me to be around him and get around that type of energy. I like to be around that type of energy. So why wouldn't I get it, get around it myself and help be around it and help lead it and help be, you know, yeah, no, that'd be great. That'd be like, you know what I mean? You spend time with your son and you know what mm. I mean? You're developing yourself and, you know, you're putting him in the best position possible. Yeah, that's what I'm win. saying, bro. That's so what win. I'm saying, bro. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. And if I can bring out, you know, Coach Lucas, because yeah. he's getting ready for the for the – the the junior tiger cats in the canadian national football you know and he's doing that and he's training and he's and we're all doing this together and we're getting out on the track and we're all working on our hundreds our 40s our 200s our 400s we're doing sprint training and we're doing some some strength training and we're encouraging each other and we're teaching each other how to do it and we're getting motivated together this is how we do it we get around that together yeah that's per that's perfect that that is perfect you know kind of manifest think about that and you know what i mean if all goes well i think that can work really well too so this is what i'm saying i'm feeling that sort of energy i'm having those kind of ideas i want to have those type of conversations i want to think and talk about those things yeah oh yeah it's perfect that's good nice bro nice bro so, you know, this is it, a great way to do it. We get on a podcast, we talk about it, we record it, we put it out, we start to share that idea. People start to jump on that idea. Maybe people want to want to try something out. We try to get together, we meet, we meet at the track, we, we meet and we get it together, we get it on, we, we do a little practice, we do a little yeah. workshop. Something That'd be good. Like this. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll reach out on Instagram. Well, yeah, man, yeah we'll figure something out because I'm yeah, bro. pretty, pretty uh, open this yeah. summer. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, we can definitely figure something out. Let's figure let's something out, bro. Let's put yeah. something together. So let's chat. Tra- let's chat some more on uh, DM. There, uh, we'll we'll talk on Messenger. Whatever, we'll sort it out. We'll make a plan. You're coming around. You got the big weekend. You got yep. the big event um, this weekend, and then we're gonna. Then maybe we 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 connect after that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I'll keep you posted on how it goes. I leave Friday morning, and then. I'm back. I can eat. I can stay there between like four days or 10 days, depending on how well we do. So keep winning. We're there longer and longer. So you know what I mean? I want to stay there as long as possible. So, so uh, yeah. And then after you can kind of, you know, rewind, talk, and, you know, get yeah, back. Yeah, man. We'll reconnect, regroup, replan. Yeah, exactly. You know, okay, this task is completed. What's next? You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, exactly, next? man. We bring in the next plan. Yep, because you're only as good as, you know, this is kind of my mindset for football. If you have a good game, like, but you're only as good as your last game, right? So you just got to keep on improving and, you know, just keep sharpening the iron, right? Like, my my phrase is Rome wasn't built in a day. So, you know, like, you just got to keep on going, keep on going. Don't be really satisfied or else, you know, you're not going to keep on getting better. If you're satisfied, then you're just kind of going to st- – stay like the same you're not gonna improve you're not gonna you know not gonna get better so that's kind of how i'm thinking about it you Um, always got to have that progress in mind you got to have that vision of more that dream more you're going for yeah as long as you just keep on going up no matter if it's a big like if you're going up big you're going up small as long as you're just slightly going up yeah it's a little yeah. bit growing yeah man. yeah exactly. progress yeah bro yeah that's what it we is. can't we can't be happy every single day maybe the sun can't shine every single day but we can learn and grow every day yeah oh yeah every yeah. day we can learn and grow so we want to align ourselves with learning and growing every day yeah getting better yeah yeah that's the mindset right there. That's that, the mindset right that's there. That's the brother. winning mentality. That's the winning mentality, my brother. Yeah. So we've got to respond to our situation. Yeah. Yeah, man. Not react. We got to respond to our situation. Yeah. To our circumstance. This is the mindset of the athlete. This is the right mind that creates the right result every single time. Yep. 
Yeah, my brother. Yeah. Okay, bro. We'll be in touch soon. We'll connect again soon. Yeah, good chats. I will message you on Instagram and uh, yeah. get back at it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, man. All right. Have a good, good rest of your day. You, bro. See you later, bro. See you, bro.